Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new David Blaine Stoics from Expert Playing Card Company. All right, so the David Blaine Stoics, what is this? This was David Blaine's 2018 release. Uh, the name of the deck is Stoic. That is a person who can endure pain. So a Stoic is somebody who can endure hardship and they don't show their feelings and they don't complain about it. What which is like David Blaine. That's like his whole persona, right? Like he has a stoic expression on his face. He's like, hi, my name's David Blaine and I want to show you a magic trick, right? I mean, that, I mean, he puts needles through his lips. He just put needles through his lips on The Tonight Show just the other night. Uh, I've seen him do that exact same trick live on stage. It's totally legit, totally real. Um, I've seen him put needles through his arms, right? So this, that stoic is the perfect name for him or a deck of cards put out by him. However, I just gotta say, uh, I'm gonna be totally honest in this deck review. I am not gonna pay any lip service to the brands or the people behind these brands, um, but I just gotta be totally honest with you about this deck and I'll talk a little bit about The Tonight Show uh, and I'll talk a little bit about how uh, you could create that same effect if you wanted to. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but first let's look at the Stoics deck. The Stoics deck is done in a white, uh, non-terrible material and it has the four cornered pips there on the back side. This is the back side uh, with David Blaine's uh, logo embossed there. And underneath it says Stoics. The sides are both blank except for the David Blaine logo. And the bottom says made in PRC, expert playing card company. What does that mean? Made in PRC, I have no idea. The front of the tuck case is the back design of the cards. And the top says first edition. That is pretty much no, let's talk about this tuck case, okay? Uh, this is supposed to be the non-terrible paper that everyone loves so much. Uh, if you have a deck of Jet Setters, uh, that's what Jet Setters has used in the past is the non-terrible paper. This doesn't feel like that. Uh, this doesn't feel good at all. I don't like this product, whatever this is. If this had been the tuck case material that Jet Setters had used, I would have loved it. I would have said, yay, this is great. But this feels cheap. It doesn't, it does feel non-terrible, it absolutely does, uh, but it doesn't feel any b better than cardboard. Like I would have rather had a plain cardboard deck than whatever material this is. This doesn't feel, this doesn't feel luxury, this feels cheap. And I feel like when this deck was promoted, a lot of people thought that it was a, in like a reprint or a, a new release of the Microsoft deck. Because if you look at the Microsoft deck, it looks very similar. However, there are some noticeable differences. Let's look at those. So this side, it does say limited edition of 2015 at the top. The Stoics deck does not say that. The sides of the Microsoft deck are blue. The top is blue. There's also a custom tuck seal on the Microsoft deck. The other side says create magic between the pips and the pips are silver. So let's just say you see somebody out on the internet and they claim to be selling the Microsoft deck, but it doesn't have the blue indicators or the silver back. You're gonna know that it's the Stoics deck in disguise. It is not the Microsoft deck. Make knowledgeable purchases when you're out there. I would hate for someone to market the Stoics deck as the Microsoft deck. The other uh, key thing is the back design. So here I have the back design. Uh, the Microsoft deck or the Create Magic deck is there on the left and then the Stoics deck is there on the right and you can see the difference there in the tail. And we'll talk a little bit more about eBay, finding these cards on eBay a little bit later. That is pretty much everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's take a look at the cards. These cards come printed from the Expert Playing Card Company, and uh, they were advertised as a JW or a Jerry's Nugget finish, okay? So you got David Blaine's name there, you got Expert Playing Card's name there, which kind of coincides with Bill Kalush. Uh, you got Jerry's Nuggets in there. You think with, with all those heavy hitters, right? With all those brands that we all love so much, this would be a quality deck of cards. It's not. This deck sucks. Uh, I don't. I, psh, no, no shade on Expert Playing Card Company. I've seen. I've seen people do deck reviews now for this deck, 
And they say flat out, I've never had an expert playing card deck before. This is my first one. And this is your first introduction to expert playing card company. Let me just say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because this is not a representation of the quality that expert playing card company puts out. No disparagement to Bill Kalush, no disparagement to expert. Uh, when they use their Taiwan printer, everything's awesome. I've had, I've had nothing but great cards from the Taiwan printer and it's only gotten better and better every single deck I've, I've received from them. Some of my very favorite decks are from expert playing card company. This deck doesn't feel like the Taiwan printer. Now, I can't say for sure. Now, they've used a Shanghai printer before in the past. Every single deck of cards I've received from the Shanghai printer have also sucked. Th that is a terrible printer. I hope they never use Shanghai again. I don't know why Expert keeps pushing designers to use the Shanghai printer. Maybe because they're cheaper. I don't know, but the quality of cards is cheaper. I don't know how Expert convinced David to print with a new printer or somebody else besides Taiwan or besides United States Playing Card Company, no idea why David would cut corners like this. Some of my very best, most favorite decks of cards come from David Blaine. And now I can say that my least favorite deck of cards also comes from David Blaine. Why don't I like these cards? A uh, couple of reasons. Number one, as soon as they came out of the tuck case, they were already bowed. Like when you fan through these cards, they're already warped, okay? Already out of the box, just warped. Um, the finish on them is also really similar to a smooth finish. Now, if you look really closely, there's a faint, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny linen finish, but it's so subtle, it's almost too subtle. And the cards clump together when you fan them and spread them right out of the box. So that's awful. That's awful. I mean, I'm sorry. If you cut corners on the finish and you cut corners on the paper stock, there's nothing left but the design. And Design is not enough to sell a deck of cards. Sorry. So didn't like the tuck case, didn't like the finish on these cards, don't like the paper stock of these cards. There's really not a lot left to say, ooh, I loved it. I mean, the back design has a nice thin black border and you've got the David Blaine logo on the top and bottom. It's a great looking back design. I wish they had taken the time and the money to make a better quality deck. With this deck, you're gonna get the two uh, shadow sword swallowing jokers that have been on other David Blaine decks as well. And your ace of spades is just a giant uh, DB, right? It's David Blaine logo uh, there in the center. The core cards on this deck have a more classic, more Arco look to them. Uh, they're not exactly Arco courts, but uh, they're done in that kind of old school way. The red suits, uh, the red coloring is kind of a little bit more muted. It's not a sharp red, it's kind of more like a soft red. All right, so you magicians out there, there's all sorts of bells and whistles, right? Uh, one of the bells and whistles on this deck is the pips in the corner. Uh, one pip is thick, or bold, I should say, and one is thin. That is so you could do a reversed, right? It's a one-way card. So you could have this entire deck uh, in a one way and then have one card reversed and you'd be able to find it just by looking at the pips. Like most David Blaine decks, this deck comes in a Mamonica stack. Uh, if you fan through the cards and you find the nine of diamonds, you simply take the rest of the deck and you cut it to the back. And once you do that, it's in Mamonica stack. The other magic secret about this deck is it is a tapered deck. It's a tapered deck, uh, also known as a stripper deck. And what that means is when the cards are cut, they're cut at an angle. So when you take one card and reverse it in the deck and put it back in, running your finger over the edge, you'd be able to find that card and slide it back out. So that means it, this is a magic trick deck, right? It's a magic trick deck. It's a gimmick deck. It's a gaff deck. This is not a standard deck of cards. Also for you magicians out there, the queen of spades has a three of diamonds reveal in her hand. All right, so if you watched The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, uh, you know that David Blaine did a trick where he sewed his lips shut and then he made a torn corner card appear from his mouth, even though it was sewn shut. Uh, and maybe you're thinking, well, how did he do that? Well, he did it, it was a magic trick, <laughs> right? It's a magic trick, David Blaine's magician. Uh, I saw him do this trick live uh, when he did his tour last year. Uh, and it was, it looked exactly like this and went exactly the same. Uh, if you're interested in doing a trick similar to this, well, for one, please don't sew your lip shut. Uh, that's dangerous. Uh, but two, if you're interested in doing the torn corner effect or you wanna know how to do a trick very similar to that, I would look at a trick called 
Torn Corner Evolution, or TCE, by Juan Pablo, okay? Torn Corner Evolution by Juan Pablo will teach you exactly how to do this torn corner effect, and you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Let me talk a little bit about eBay real fast before we finish. Um, I think a lot of times when David Blaine releases decks like this, or there's a limited edition deck coming out like this, uh, scalpers go out and purchase huge quantities of these decks, and they uh, drive the market up because the deck sells out and then people have an in-demand deck and so they go out to eBay to find it and then they'll pay through the nose for it. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't encourage, number one, don't encourage scalpers. Okay, don't encourage these people. Number two, like I said, the deck's terrible. So even though it's sold out, the only reason you should buy this deck is if you have to have it in your collection. Like you collect all the David Blaine decks, so you have to have them all. Okay, that's fine. Buy it on eBay, but don't pay more than $12 to $15 for this. Don't, okay? Because what's gonna happen is, word's gonna get around, a lot of people are gonna talk about how inferior this deck is, and nobody's gonna want it. And so maybe the guys at the beginning will have the deck for sale for like $25 or $35 at the beginning, but the price will come down, okay? Because there's people out there who've got bricks of these who didn't plan on selling them and now they're gonna change their mind and they're gonna to try to unload them. There are people that purchased this as a brick because there was a sale, right? And they were hoping to have keep all the cards, and now they're not going to, and they're gonna to try to unload it on eBay. And they're gonna unload it just to get their money back. So don't pay high prices for this deck, okay? Don't, refuse. If you're gonna buy this deck on eBay, like I said, 12 to $15 is fine. And, and don't unwrap it. I mean, it's the first edition, so maybe one day it'll be worth money, but I doubt it. Um, and, and, and say no to the scalpers and tell them that you're not, you refuse to pay that price. If you don't see the deck uh, come down in price the first couple weeks, that's fine, just wait it out. You're, you're not in a rush. I tell, I'm telling you, people are gonna unload this deck on eBay and they're gonna flood the market back again because nobody's gonna wanna keep this deck because like I said, it sucks. Right now, the deck is, of course, sold out at davidblaine.com, but that shouldn't stop you from heading down to davidblaine.com and purchasing one of his other quality decks instead. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.